Hey what's up guys, we're going to do a quick little tutorial on the block and copy function in CarveCo so that you guys can be able to move things around and in my case I'm actually going to be doing it with uh, the purpose of making some dog holes and a spoil board. So I'm going to open a new model and I'm going to just make it for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to make it 24 by 24 I've left the unit in inches but in this process I'm going to show you something that we can do because I know that some of the dog hole spacings can be done in millimeters and this is how you'll be able to go back and forth so we're going to open up a model 24 by 24 and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle with a diameter of three quarters of an inch. It seems that's the, the going number for a dog hole, whether you're using a Festool dog hole or even your own. Obviously you can size these to whatever uh, you are using. Uh, I will be using these for uh, my cam clamps uh, eventually in my new machine. So I'm going to create that circle and for the purpose of this tutorial very quickly I'm going to select my circle and then I'm going to go to block and rotate copy which is under the edit menu. When I do that I'm going to determine what I would like for my spacing or my offsets. Now the difference between these two is if you pick the offset it is going to put the distance whatever you choose between the centers whereas if you pick this option here it is going to give you spacing between the actual items. So in my case I wanted to keep a center to center number but I want to do it in millimeters so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to model and then I'm going to set the size and I'm going to change the units that we're working in just for the moment to millimeters and click OK. You'll notice that all of this changed but that's not that big of a deal for the moment. Now I want a 78 millimeter offset and I actually want an entire grid pattern the way that I do it is I'm going to try to figure out what's best for me and how many dog holes I want in this actual board. So I'm going to take, for example, I'm going to do a 6x6, six six, which is going to allow me to do 6 columns and 6 rows, and it's going to give me a 78 millimeter offset. So when I click Apply, quickly and easily, I am going to get that grid pattern. Now in my case this now pushed me off my model but doing nothing more than centering this entire group now they're in the middle. Now if this was sufficient for you you would leave it as is. Um, if you wanted some more holes on the outside you could just click an entire row I'm still going to leave the offset exactly the same, but now I'm going to change to just two columns and one row and click apply and it now added another row. Again I could select all and then center the entire in this 24 by 24 piece. Now I am still working in the millimeters because I'm still working with the offsets of my circles and eventually I will go back and put it back into inches before I run any kind of toolpaths. So I still think I could use another row of dog holes here and another row up here. So I'm going to select this row, same offsets, but now instead of columns I want rows. Now you'll notice that I picked on both of those selections I picked two because I wanted to have this one and one more. 
if I were to only make this one, it would not put put something here. So when I apply it, now I'm going to select them all again, and I'm going to center this entire pattern. Now sometimes when you do the block and copy, you're going to get overlapping vectors so that if you ran Vector Doctor, which we will do momentarily, you might see that you get some green circles. So we're going to look at that in one second. But before we go there, I'm going to change the model size and everything back into inches. And that's as simple as going back to model and changing the units over. So now you'll see that we're here. Now to make sure that I don't have any extra circles, of course, I'm going to select all of them and then I'm going to go to Vector Doctor and I'm going to identify just to make sure that we're good. Now you'll see that we do not have any extra copies and we should be able to machine without an issue. Since these are going to be dog holes in a three quarter inch piece it's as simple as highlighting the toolpaths. I'm going to do an area clearance. I'll do a complete finish depth of 0.75 and you can pick any one of the end mills that you might have. Uh, I have a few quarter inch. I even have uh, a half inch end mill as well that I could use, which would speed things up. But for this purposes, I'm going to just pick a quarter. You can set your own feed rate and your plunge rate. And I would pick offset in this case because I want it to work from the inner side of the circle to the outside. Set up my material, three quarters of an inch, because this will be MDF, and then I will calculate, and we are good to go. Again, this is just a basic tutorial on block and copy, and I showed you how you can make multiple rows, or you could just copy one. Look out for future videos. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message through Instagram at BHL Woodworks or Facebook, BHL Woodworks, and of course on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.